Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So today we're going to be setting up a block eruptor USB Bitcoin mining ASIC. Uh, technically there is uh, one ASIC chip underneath there and it mines Bitcoin. Though not much power behind it and it will take you an astronomical amount of years in order to solo mine a block for Bitcoin, there are odds that you could do it. Is it worth it? It's more fun than anything else. I gave one to a friend when he started mining as a little bit of a joke, uh, just something that he could play around with. Somebody else I know has gotten into crypto, thought I'd give them one too and set it up. I thought I'd do a video on it to show you how to do it. We're going to go through the mining software. We're going to go through wallets. We're going to talk about the pool and the drivers that you're going to need to install. So let's go ahead, hop over and take a look at this stuff. So first things first, you can get these online. They're on eBay or pretty much everywhere else. Uh, they go for around 50 bucks. I got mine for 39 bucks with shipping and tax. It came to 45 bucks. I got two of them. Like I said, I'm going to give one to a friend and I got one for myself just for fun. Uh, I hadn't used one before and well, whatever. Um, so this can go plug right into your computer directly. They do get very hot. It does have an ASIC chip on there. The heat just dissipates uh, off the top and the bottom of the chip. So while it's in there, if you touch it, it will be pretty warm to the touch, if not uh, borderline could burn you. So be careful when you grab these things after they've been running for a while. Best thing is to get a little USB strip uh, and then buy one of those little USB fans uh, that you can just kind of aim at them while it's mining if you have one or multiple uh, and try to blow some of that heat off. It definitely will help. The hotter these things get, the less uh, hash rate you will get. So you want to keep them reasonably cool. Should get about 350 mega hash. So uh, there you go as far as buying them. Now, as far as a wallet goes, you're going to need a Bitcoin wallet. And there are two that I'm going to mention here. One's Exodus and one's Crypto.com. The real difference between these both is one is centralized and one is decentralized. Exodus is decentralized, which means you have the keys to your crypto. It's in your wallet. Um, nobody else can control it. If it's on something like Crypto.com, it's an exchange where they hold your crypto and then you use it as you see fit, but they hold it. So if Crypto.com was to go out of business, you would not have any of your crypto because it would be in their wallet. So the choice is yours. Make sure you know which one you're picking before you do it. If you haven't used a decentralized wallet yet, I recommend watching a video on deciding on which one you want to use. Uh, but I will have um, a referral code down below for either one of these if you want to use it. If you have another wallet that you use, that's great. Um, I'm not necessarily recommending either of these. They're just two options that are out there. Uh, the miner that we're going to be using today is CG Miner. There are two miners that you can use to do this, the BFG Miner or the CG Miner. Like I said, we're going to use CG Miner today. And the pool that we're going to use, I'm going to be using Public Pool. Uh, it's just a pool to mine Bitcoin. It's for uh, solo mining. Um, you know, is what it is. Now, really no frills. And it's pretty straightforward. It tells you right here what you need to do in order to get your miner up and running. So that's going to be really simple. Um, you will need to get some drivers for your uh, USB miner and it's digs right here. Uh, I will have links in the description below for any of these pages. Now, during recording, these links work. But in the future, if you're still crazy enough to get one of these, um, you know, these may or may not work. So uh, there we go. That's what we're going to be using. So first things first, let's go ahead and bring up our uh, our USB uh, miner. Let's go ahead and just minimize this. And we have our control panel open. We go to devices and printers, click on here. And then we should see our USB right here. And uh, it is showing up. Uh, the only thing is that it does say it's COM3 and we want to change that. So we need to change the drivers. So that's why we're going to be using DIG to go ahead and do that. So let me bring that up over here and we'll put that here and we'll just slide this over a little bit so you can see it. Minimize that. And what we want to do here is that it's showing uh, which driver we're going to have. And we want to go up here to options and click list all devices. And then in your drop down, you should be able to find your device. And there's mine right there. So it tells me the driver that I have installed right now. I want to put the Win USB driver on there. So I'm going to go ahead and click replace driver. As you can see, it says COM3 down here. And we want to get that off of there. And there it goes. So that's off. It's going to go ahead and install the driver. It can take up to about a half a minute in order for this to go through. No big deal. Uh, next, we're going to do is we are going to bring up our mining software. So let's bring that over here. We can go ahead and close this. 
and this is just going to take a minute to go through so we'll let that run so in our mining software we're going to need to make a a, a new um a flight sheet so what we're going to do is we're going to right click in here and just go to new and go to text document now i'm going to name mine number one and the only thing i reason i do that is just because when i open up this folder if i name it some other weird name it's going to be down in here somewhere all right so that said is successful so we can close that we can close this now uh, like I said, I just put it there so it always shows up on top. It's really easy to get to, and you just go ahead and open that up. So now that we have that open, we're going to need to go ahead and get our pool information, and that's going to be over here in public pool. So uh, something that we need to look at for the miner is that you have two different miners that you can start, CG miner or CG miner no GPU. G no GPU means that it's not going to use the graphics card that's in your computer. For me, I don't want to use my GPUs to mine with. I just want this block eruptor to run by itself. So I'm going to be using the no GPU in mine when I make my uh, sheet up. So let me go ahead and bring that up. And so first things you're going to want to do is I'm just, because I've got my flight sheet here, so I'm just going to show it to you step by step. So we're going to choose that one right there because um, we, we don't want CG miner to start. We want it to start this one. So we're going to put that right there. And then we're going to hit space dash O and then space again. And now for this part, we're going to need to go ahead and get our pool information, which is going to be right here. So we're just going to go ahead and highlight that and hold control and click C on our keyboard. Or you can go ahead and right click on it and copy either way that you want to do that. Let's bring ours back up and we're going to hit control V. Then uh, we're going to hit um, space and we'll hit dash U for the username. Now the username is going to be your Bitcoin wallet address. Uh, whatever wallet you decide to go with, It'll be your choice, uh, but you'll want to put it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy mine. So let's go ahead and copy my uh, Bitcoin wallet. Copy. Come over here and paste. So I've got that. Now, after this, you can hit period and then call it whatever you want. Um, we'll just call it USB 1 uh, for this. Then we're going to hit a space again and hit dash P for the password. And for the password, it's just going to be X. So that's the flight sheet. I will copy this and put it in the description below also. So you could just copy it and put it in yours. If you have a different pool uh, than mine, all you have to do is just come in here and, you know, copy yours from whatever site and paste it over top of mine. Same thing for your Bitcoin wallet. You're really going to want to go ahead and change that as well and uh, name it whatever you want to name it. So now that you have that all done, what you want to do is come over here and go to File and Save As. And this is the important part. We want to hit this drop down, click All Files, and then come back here. And after the name of the file, whatever you have it named at, you hit dot or period and then B-A-T. And then we're going to go ahead and save that. Now we can close this. And let's minimize that we can see. Now we have a bat file. This batch file, what it's going to do, it's our flight sheet. It's going to go ahead and start the miner. It's going to start this particular miner. And then the miner is going to go ahead and want to start any of the other software that it needs in order to run. So this sheet is what's telling this program what we want it to do, where we want it to mine, and what we want it to mine it to. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and start this miner up. All right, I'm going to bring it over here so you can see it. As you can see, it did give me some errors there in the beginning, but it is up and mining, or not mining yet, but it is starting. We'll see our mega hash start to appear over here when it starts up. So we're going to let this run. There it is. It's starting to come up. This should peak out at about 350. I'm going to let this run for just a little bit so it makes some confirmations with the pool. And then I'll bring up the pool to show you how to look that up and, um, and see that you are mining. So we'll be right back. All right, well, it's been running for just a little bit and it's uh looking pretty good i'm going to go ahead and shut it down just for now and bring up the page so if we go to public pool and we put in our bitcoin wallet address you can see it has it it's uh hasn't registered fully what it's running at and it just actually registered here so it's uh, that little dot and i'm sure it'll continue across I actually should go i think up a little bit because it's not um registering its full but anyway there it is so up and running i hope the video helped definitely throw me a thumbs up really appreciate it if you have any questions hit them down below always love that uh like i said i'll have all the links to all the sites in the description below if you want to subscribe to the channel buttons right over there if you can watch any of my other videos i'm gonna have one right up over there 
Appreciate you checking in. I'll see you all next time.